Computer is frozen. If I hit it in just the right way, it unfreezes. Did it work? Oh yeah, sorta. Woo! Dave, we need to finish this game. You know, cause we're game programmers. Fine, I'll change my pants later. And when are you gonna get this dead donkey out of here? He is not dead, he is sleeping. Dude, why is there a dead donkey in our office anyway? Yeah, it's a prank gone horribly wrong. He's still useful though. For what? Let's just say it gets super chilly in here, right? Then I just cut him open. Ugh, like a tauntaun and sleep inside. Oh, for warmth. What the hell is wrong with you? You know, Jerry, all these questions are really distracting me from programming video games, which, may I remind you, is my job. Hey, guys. Yeah, what's the word? It's the Wizard of Waz. Hey, Mr. Wozniak. Boss man to you, Jerry. Dave, are you sleeping inside a dead donkey like a tauntaun? Yeah. I, uh, I am. I dig it! Hey, how's the new game coming? Good news. I'm a genius. Hobo killer? Guaranteed number one. Wow, great job! Hey guys, do the old CEO a favor and round up the troops. Meet me in the break room in 10. I have a pretty big announcement. You got it, Chief. Hey, what do you think Waz's big announcement could be? I don't know, but it can't be good. Jerry, listen to me, your best friend in the world. You've got to think positive, man. I'm not sure I can make this. That right there is what I mean. Think positive, man. Okay, think positive. Eh? See? You didn't die. That was positive. Ah! Fire in the hole, hit the deck! Yo, Black Steve, meeting in the break room in five, buddy. You got it. Hey, Waz gets you a new gun? Yeah, I'm trying to get some inspiration for my new game, Cracker Barrel. It's a game where you shoot crackers in a barrel. Late. I'm out of here. You know, that's really weird because he's not even a game programmer. He's the accountant. I'm talking about the scientific nacho cheese. The one that has been chemically formulated. I... Mother, I have to go. I have to go now, Mother. Ah! What say you, good sirs? What brings you to Todd's lair? Looking for advice from the best programmer in the world? No, I don't like asking myself questions. No, you see, I am the best... Mm -hmm. I see. Clever! Were you just talking to your mom about nacho cheese? Mother and I share many passions, one of which happens to be our passion for nachos. The other, my passion for her. Wow. That is really creepy, Todd. When we find out how many people are buried in your basement, are we going to be more shocked or more disappointed by the number? What do you a-holes want? Waz wants to meet with us all in the break room. He has some kind of big announcement. Fair enough. I shall grace you with my presence. But till then, I say to thee, be gone! Okay, Todd. I said, be gone! My back! Hey, Mary, meeting in the break room. Dave, this is the women's spa. What? I ain't looking. But I am taking pictures. Hello. Hey, Mary, how's that game you're working on going? Great. I think Red Ronda is really going to teach girls about their periods and be action-packed, so boys will want to play, too. That is totally cool. Dude, you are never going to bone her. Dave! Mary, tell him you're unbonable. The door is locked. Out! Wait, but maybe the back door isn't. Security! Knock, knock. Who's there? But, ow. Hey, is there a problem here? You're just leaving. hell are you doing? Well, Mary, if you must know, Waz said I could put a urinal next to the microwave. Why? So I can make sure that my frozen burrito doesn't get overcooked. But where are the pipes? What pipes? Whoa. Mmm, perfect every time. Hey, everybody. Good times, people. Hey, Waz. Good, Good times. times. Waz. You rule, Waz. Thanks, Dave. Dave, would you mind wearing pants for this meeting? You got it, Chief. And I'm sorry to you, Mary, because the free show is over. You guys all rule. Hell you yeah. rule, Waz. You that's why I'm gonna miss you all so much after I sell this company. What? You're kidding, right? F that! I feel you, Dave. 
But you know, to everything, turn, turn, turn. I think we build a great community here at Game of Vision, and I know you guys are going to keep it going no matter who the new owner turns out to be. A new owner? There'll be a bunch of different buyers checking the place out over the next week or so, and I want you guys to show them what's so great about this place. Dave, I'm looking for you to be the liaison, if that's cool. You want me to help you sell the company? Are you out of your... Yeah. You know what? On second thought, I think I'll help you, Oz. I think I can be that dude for you. So, Waz tells me you guys are the ones that made Johnny do right. I love that game. At FamilyWorks, we really believe video games can serve a moral purpose. I'm sure you and Clarence are gonna have a lot to talk about. Hey guys, come on in! What in the heck? This is Clarence. He does all the music for our games. He rocks, and he sucks. Hey everyone, hop in the jacuzzi. It's hot like me! Oh gosh, I'm getting out of here. Keep loving who you love, dude. We'll do Hey, Todd, these investors are from Canada. Ah, yes. <laughs> Welcome. Dave tells me you're interested in learning the secrets of a top video game programmer. Yeah, for sure. We like to check out the staff before we invest. Well, let us begin. First, one must be comfortable whilst programming. Oh, gosh. Let's do a little word association, shall we? There are no right or wrong answers. Let's go. Chalice. Creepy. No, that is wrong. Let's try again. Dragon's Lair. Creepy? All right, dudes, I'll see you in six hours. Those are both wrong answers, but there are no right or wrong, so let's let's just try again. Barefoot Witch. So I showed you the foosball table, right? And uh, this is the microwave. Yes, we're more interested in checking your video game programming department. We've seen a microwave before. Yes, but have you seen a man microwave a turd? Um, no. Well, then consider yourselves lucky, because that is my turd in there. And I am indeed microwaving it. Hey guys, Dave giving you the grand tour? Mr. Wozniak, we have been dragged around- Oh man, I knew 10 minutes was too long. Dave, did you microwave your- Yes. Man, that is a classic prank. Thanks, man. <laughs> now that's a boss. Okay, I'm gonna go burn all my clothes now. Yeah, that's probably for the best. Oh, oh, no. But it's a great company! And it's the 80s. People really shouldn't be this uptight. Waz, think fast! Waz, what the hell? I'm sorry, Dave. My heart just isn't in video games. I want to move on and make the world's greatest computers. Oh, dude, please, not this again. These devices are going to take people to places they could never imagine. Anyone who can use a computer is going to be more valuable than a CEO. No offense, Waz, but home computers are going to be a passing fad, like MTV. Maybe, but I've got to chase my dreams. I was even thinking of writing a book. How do you like I Was as the title? Damn it! That is a great title. That's why we need you, man, because you're not a douche. And that's like the highest compliment I can pay anybody. It's true. He's never called me not a douche, and I'm his best friend. I'm sorry, guys. But now that Dave has scared away all the potential buyers, I've got to sell the company to... No, don't say it. ColecoVision just made a formal offer today. ColecoVision? ColecoVision is the ass of the gaming industry. That place is where awesomeness goes to die. More code, more code. I can't take it anymore. And P.S., they produce nothing but... Games. They do have dental. Shut up, dude. Waz, please, you can't sell out to ColecoVision. There has to be another option. Well, there is one investor you haven't scared off yet. A Texas businessman by the name of Bob Larity. Sounds perfect. What? Because he's not ColecoVision, Jerry. But selling to anyone without discussing it with my employees wouldn't be the Waz way. To the outdoor fun zone and barbecue pit. Man, I am going to miss this guy. Yeah, he's the best. The horn of consensus has sounded. The great and powerful Waz has arrived! My friends, this is as much your company as mine. That's why I'm going to settle this by a majority vote, and I promise to accept whatever bid you choose. So, everyone who would like to work for ColecoVision, please raise their hands. Everyone who wants to work for Mr. Larity, please raise your hands. We should have a majority. Did someone abstain? It was Jerry, Mr. Waz. Jerry didn't vote. By the way, Mr. Waz, that outfit is very slimming on you. Come on, bro, don't be a suit. Jerry, you know what's right. He's a witch! A witch! Burn him! But we haven't even met Larity. A witch, I tell you! He consumes baby skulls and fear! All right, stop! All right, maybe I'm being a little bit of an alarmist. All right, buddy, it looks like it's up to you. So who's it gonna be? ColecoVision or Larity? I guess if I had to vote, I guess I would vote for... Well, Jerry, who's it gonna be? Dave or me? Don't listen to her, dude. She's using her vagina to confuse and amaze you. Don't talk about my vagina! You're in a safe place, Jerry. Unless you pick wrong, 
then we'll have to you up. Steven, we talked about your anger issues. Sorry, Waz. I need to learn to express myself in less angry ways. What are you mother staring at? I did it again. I'm going to my mother pool of shame. I guess I'd have to choose, uh, Larity? Yes! In your face, Mary. Ugh. Oh, God! Sorry, Waz. You've got anger issues, girl. I'm telling you, you can get free rubbers this way. Come on, baby, give me a little bit more of the something something. Boy, are you humping that condom machine? Yeah. And by the way, thanks for interrupting my J.O. session, Tex. Boys, name's Big T Larity. My friends call me Hoss, and my family calls me Carl. That was my paternal great-grandfather's name. He was a homosexual, died by his own hand in 48. You boys can call me... Mr. Larity. Uh, hi. And this is my son, Dean. I like circles, because they're round and stuff. Thank you, Dean. That boy is R-E-tarded. Dean, why don't you drop and crank out a hundred push-ups? Me and the boys here are going to have ourselves a little meander. You got it, Dad. One, two, three, four. One, two, he three, He can only four, count to four, one, two, so it's going to take a while. Four. One, two, three, four. Boys, there's gonna be a lot of changes here at Game of Vision. Great, let's hear them. Shut your yapper, son! No talking while I'm talking! First off, Christmas is canceled. Even Jew Christmas. Whoa! We gotta get rid of this bat problem! It's open season on them bastards! And absolutely no more damn turtles! Yeah, I hate turtles too, you know, they spread syphilis. Shut up! I got syphilis from a turtle once, not from a Mexican whore. Yeah, but oh, sorry, sorry. Listen, I don't know anything about video games. But I heard that you two are my star programmers, so I am hell-bent on having you boys continue to do what's really important to me. Making sweet-ass video games and getting messed up on Hooch, yeah! No, you goofy-looking cow turd! Making me money! I love money. I got a blow-up doll made of money that I make sweet love to every night. That's messed up. My love of money has helped me succeed in women's coats, Novelty items, and now video games! There are three things Big T don't much a cotton to. Bats, turtles, and people who f with my money. Hey boys, it's me, Clarence. It's your best friend in the world who happens to be gay. Ooh. Whoa, and whatever the hell that thing was. That's four. Shut up, Dave. So a few boys me. Well, then we got ourselves a little problemo. Looking forward to working with you two gentlemen. Excuse me, boys. Them bats is good eating. Yeah! Great. Our new boss is a money-grubbing psychopath. Nice going, Dave. Well, you voted for him, jackhole. Okay, so what's the deal, guys? Are we screwed or what? Everything is super cool. Everything will remain the same. And don't worry, because nobody's getting fired. Sorry, sweetheart. I need to expand the men's room. <laughs> I like to walk around like a caged tiger before I take a big steaming tube. So what are the ladies supposed to use? Well, if you ladies could aim properly, you could pee in a coffee can. But since you can't, it ain't my problem. Dean, let's go fill up the swimming pool with cement. Black Steven, now you're going to be sharing an office with... Like hell I am. Huh? Flack jacket, son. But nice try. I respect you for it. You got spirit. You have earned your own office. Until the rematch, of course. So looks like I own a video game company. <laughs> Let's hear some video game ideas, ladies. Oh, uh, well, sir, I... Oh, see, when I say ladies, I mean it as a derogatory term for the men. No offense to the ladies. So what do you got for me, lady? Well, I guess since I'm the best, I'll go first. I know what you're all thinking. Todd, how can you top yourself after your brilliant game Space Blaster? Wow, Todd is such a douche. Well, yes. I asked myself that very same question, and my answer is thus. Behold, Space Blaster 2! Wow, Todd. That's right. Two ships. Two Blasters. Double fun. Two ships is the holy grail of gaming. How did you do it? Who cares? Thank you, nerd with the cow horns on your head. Ugh, Philistine. Okay, which one he uses next? Yeah, I'm Dave, the best game programmer. Anyway, 
I've been working on several new titles with my buddy Jerry. First one is a game called Nazi Sniper. I love it, Dave! A Nazi who snaps people. No, it's actually a guy who kills Nazis. Oh, well, I don't like it. Wait, what? Well, here's the deal, people. It may seem like we're in training camp, but the Super Bowl's actually next week. That's why I can't have any bench warmers on this team. Ain't that right, Benny? Mr. Rarity, I can have more pixie sticks, please? There you go, kid. Go crazy. Fantastic. <laughs> that kid's from Korea. Company legally adopted him. I feed him cigarettes to stun his growth and sugar to keep him playing. You number one, Mr. Rarity. You're better than baseball and apple pie together. Yay, America. Thank you, Doodle. That imprisoned 10-year-old boy. Is going to be testing all your game. Is that legal? And P.S. I'm making my son Dean here the new head of development. Yes! So maybe we can get some good games in here. Wicked! Let's do it! Sweet hell. Okay, I'll say it now. I think I might have made a small mistake. You think? Welcome, Steven. It occurs to me you've... Uh... Never been to the lair before. Yeah, because you creep me out. What do you want, Todd? Look, Larity is a fool. A fool, I tell you. Get to the point, or I'm going to beat you. Very well. With my cunning and your rage and handiness with firearms, we can take Larity out. What say you, man? Yeah, all right. But you got to give me $20. Fair enough. And your van. Okay. Yo, and that sword. Excalibur knows no hands but mine own. The sword or forget it. Very well. I dub thee the Black Knight Protector of Todd. If I find out Black Knight is some racist crap, it's go time between me and you. Oh, sweet balls, what has he done? You like it, boy? I took out all the fun stuff. Too much fun killed a hooker, as they say. Mr. Larity? Todd, may I have the privilege of buying you a delicious candy bar? Huh! I don't remember stocking the candy machine with black fella. No, no, no. What? Nice try, Stevie. But I put bulletproof glass in all my vending machines and automobiles. I'll see you later, fatty. And you owe me a baby Ruth. Jerry really messed up this time. But you wanted Larity, too. Waz, let's not play the blame game. Well, I'm not pointing any fingers, but look where my finger is pointing. No time for jokes, dude. Listen, Dave, I'm sorry it's a little rocky right now, but Mr. Larity is a good man. He outlawed Frisbee Friday. What? And he took my urinal out of the break room. That might have been for the best. All right, I want to tell you this, but he put cement in your saltwater fish tank. He said he wouldn't do that. I wish I could help you out, Dave, but it's too late. Larity owns Game of Vision now. Lame. There is one option. You could always come work here with me. What did I tell you, man? The home computer is dead. Laws, you sort of lack vision. You know what? Forget it. I'm out of here. Game of Vision needs you. It's your time now. It's my time here, but it's your time there. You have to lead them now, Dave. Plus, you can hide your stash in there. Okay, man. Thanks. You know, we just had a little moment here, and I kind of liked it. Oh, and one more thing. Have an apple for the road. Thanks, Waz. Who names their company after a fruit? Are you sure this is gonna work? Trust me, I'm a genius. It better be chocolate cake I'm jumping out of. What the hell is that? A gigantic cake? Oh, it's vanilla. Mother Yes, my lord. Just, uh, an office warming gift? Nice office, by the way. Very pleasant in here. Manly. Yep, just moving stuff in. I oh, yeah. Look at it! I heard about this! It's one of them fortune cakes with a black feller inside! Hey, Bubba! What's my fortune? When you're done filling out this personality evaluation worksheet, give it to me. Are these are new employees? They're applying for the job. Ah! I don't even work here yet! Better you taste my whip now. Mary, are you sure you want to go through with this? I'd rather get whipped by a crazy man than shot by a crazy man. I really need to rethink my life. Dave? What are you doing here? Wow. Even I'm stunned. I'm not here to take this job. I'm here to stop you guys from making the biggest mistakes of your lives. Listen, we're like a great rock band. Like the Jackson 5. Oh, and Jerry or Tito, by the way. Damn. Together, we make kick-ass music, but apart, we suck. Except for me, because I'm Michael, and I'm gonna put out Thriller. But that's not the point. 
The point is, we need to stick together. Would David Lee Roth leave Van Halen? Would Morrissey leave the Smiths? Would George Michael leave Wham? Hell no! Exactly! Look, Game of Vision belongs to all of us. Not like this place. This place doesn't belong to anybody. Actually, I'm the majority stockholder. You're also a majority douchebag, so get walking before I beat the crap out of you. Now let's get back to Game of Vision, everybody. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Yeah! Get him, oh, Dad! Sir, please. You've already branded me. Twice! You gonna wear that Tw on your head? I'm gonna brand you like a steer. Rope him, Dean! I well, runs a lot faster than you expect for a chubby guy. Come here, you! Oh, 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 I gotcha! Oh, That's what you get for trying to kill me, boy! And I would like to thank you, Black Steve, for letting me in on your little a secret. Maybe Larity's kind of cool after all. Anybody that hits Todd with a branding iron is okay by me. This pain is incredible. Could someone bring me some children's aspirin? Ugh! They're searing through my first protective layer of fat. Now that's touching bone. Dude, where have you been? Dude, I just dropped a deuce in the brownie bowl, which is code for I took a dump in the brownie bowl. Dave, shut up. And then I wipe my ass on every brownie in the bowl. Dave, shut up. <laughs> but it's cool because my poop is brown and the brownies are brown, so no one will ever know. Dave, turn around. Oh man. Gosh darn it, that's the second time I've eaten this week! Hey everybody, good times, people. You rule, Waz!